So then when you watch a sports movie and they got all the musty guys and everybody's all fit and they're like doing the training montages and they're pumping iron and everything's all inspirational and then you leave the cinema and you're like, yeah, I'm not going to start exercising more, I'm going to start running more. And you get home, you put your sports gear on, you put your hood up and you're like, yeah, man, I'm ready to go on some long ass run. But then you're all like, nah, it's kind of cold outside, man. Allow it, man. Allow it, man. I'll go tomorrow. Now I'll go tomorrow. You're not going to go tomorrow. You should, but you're not. So I like Rocky movies. I think it's fair to say that I'm a Rocky fan. Um, if you've not seen Rocky 1, I highly recommend that you see that film. It's a fantastic film, really good film. Tells the story of his humble beginnings as a mafia enforcer. Rocky 2 is a pretty good movie as well, though I would say Rocky 2 is probably the weakest of all Rocky movies. I'm pretty sure most people disagree with me on that. But I, I in my opinion, I think it's the weakest of the Rocky movies. It does the least for me, and I think it's the least memorable as well. Rocky 3, however, and I'm pretty sure most people disagree with me on this, as well is the best in my opinion of all the Rocky movies absolutely fantastic and the reason why I say it's the best is because it's the by far the cheesiest Rocky movie ever it's so ridiculously over the top cheese fest it's fantastic Mr. T as Clubber Lang is just brilliant and it's the first time Mr. T uttered these famous words I pity the fool so yeah great film Rocky 4 a classic film as well um, I really liked Rocky 4 and Rocky 5 nobody likes Rocky 5 I liked Rocky 5 you know if they ended on Rocky 5 I would have been satisfied with that. I thought that was a good way to end the Rocky movies. But then they came back about 15 or so years later with Rocky Balboa. And I really liked Rocky Balboa. I thought that was a really good way to bring it back. And a really good way to end the uh, story of Rocky. Now on to Creed. Now if you have not seen previous Rocky movies before. Then Creed is actually a pretty good place to start in my opinion. Because it's not a continuation of the previous films. It is a new story. It's more of a spin-off. It's the Elektra to Daredevil. It's the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to the Avengers. It's Mork and Mindy. Yes, Mork and Mindy was a spin-off. And if you know what it was a spin-off from. Let me know down below. But that being said. You should still watch the previous Rocky movies. Because they're fantastic and they're great films. But anyway. Creed, I really liked Creed. I thought it was done really well. I thought the acting was fantastic. Michael B. Jordan, I said it before, I say it again, and I'll keep saying it for as long as it's true. He is a fantastic actor, and he just shows that once again in this movie as the lead. It's good to see him in a lead role in a big film because this... It, it, it just showcased everything that he can do and the dude is awesome. Um, Ryan Coogler I was really impressed with. I've not seen a previous Ryan Coogler movie before. I've heard his name kind of floating around a little bit but I've not seen any of his films before but this really impressed me from uh, he co-wrote it, he directed it. So yeah, I'd, I'd want to see more Ryan Coogler movies uh, after on the strength of this because it's just absolutely brilliant what he did. If you are familiar with Rocky movies then I don't think you're going to be surprised by much of what happens in this film and if you've seen the trailer then I think the trailer gives away just a little bit too much. I mean, it doesn't spoil the film. I don't think it ruins the overall experience of watching it. But it just gives away a bit more than the trailer really should. Um, but it's still a good film. Still worth seeing. Still a worthy entry into the Rocky series. Whether you're an old school fan. Whether you're a new school fan. It's a great movie. Felicia Rashad is class as always. Great addition to the film. And yeah, I, I recommend it. Go see this film. If you have seen it, let me know what you think. And if you like this video, give it a like and share it amongst your friends. If you did not like it, then give it a dislike and share it amongst your enemies. Either way, let me know your reasons in the comments. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you for watching. And until whenever, if ever, Club Lang, one of your predictions on the fight. Pain. Oh, and by the way, to all those people who call Sylvester Stallone a racist because he forgot to thank Ryan Coogler and Michael B. Jordan at the Golden Globes when he won Best Supporting Actor for Creed. Such a dumbass down. Ignorant ass n***a.